Hello viewers, how are you? Hope you are fine. Welcome back to my channel, Drawing Time with Story. If you are new in my channel, I will introduce myself and my channel with you. I am Suraya Parvin and in my channel, I select an object or a theme to draw and while drawing, you will not get bored because I will tell you a story, I will gossip with you, I will simply deliver some information about the topic I select to draw. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay connected with me, to stay connected with Drawing Time It's Story. We will draw together, we will gossip together, we will enjoy together. So as you saw, my today's theme is um, just a bulb or a light that is laying on the surface or the sand sandy beach besides um you can say it is a beach or it's just a uh, open field or open uh, space something like that as you think the picture will be uh, appeared in that way so um what to do today we can gossip together um, about the invention of the bulb or light you can say that is who invented it we all know that Thomas Alva Edison so let's jump to the information section so Thomas Edison was born February 11 1847 in Milan Ohio he was the youngest of seven children wow that's a lot of brothers and sisters to have he was one of the united states most well-known inventors when he was a child he got scarlet fever and this felt him almost deep and we will know about his early life he was nicknamed l and although he was a very busy curious boy he struggled at school and often got into trouble as we learned that he was almost deep so it's a very difficult journey for him uh, to run into the school as a bully is not the present topic it was it, it was presented in earlier and it is present um, in this time and i think it will not get over so uh, we have to cope up with the bullying and we have to raise our children uh, so that they can't be engaged in bullying it is a very uh, bad habit a uh, very bad manner and who is get bullying her his or her mental health is definitely affected by this so we are the parents we are the surroundings of the environment that we can encourage our uh, society to raise awareness about this bullying it can be um, a face-to-face -face bullying or it can be a cyber bullying all this uh, all the thing i can we can do that we just raise our voice against it so his teacher that means thomas alva edison teacher called him adult which means slow or dim well little did they know what would happen edison's mother nancy elliot was frustrated with the school and knew her son could learn so instead she taught him at home after he left school he was she was a very good mother because she at least understood the capacity the emotional state of his boy and i i personally think that thomas alva edison was so lucky to have a great mother he read books from the library and taught himself but learned to love reading and conducting experiments from his mother he later um, remembered that my mother was the making of me. She was so true, so sure of me, and I felt I had something to live for, someone I must not disappoint. Ah, that is awesome, simply awesome, and I must salute to his mother. 
Edison often entertained himself by taking things apart to see how they worked. Soon he decided to become an inventor. When Edison was 12, just only 12, he started publishing and selling a newspaper to passengers on the train. Wow, that is so clever of him. At age of 15, he became a tramp telegrapher, sending and receiving messages via Morse code, an electronically convent alphabet using different clicks for each letter. Morse code was used across the world by the military, shipping and the rail system where messages could be sent by wires. I want to add one thing that we parents become so frustrated about our children so early. Every children is special, every baby is special, every baby is unique, you must admit that. My baby can do it, your baby can't do it. It's very simple, don't compare. It will hurt themselves, it will discourage themselves to do anything. So just focus on your child, don't see another. You can encourage him but don't compare and don't discourage him or her in any matter. Because as we were talking about Thomas Alvarezson, her mother was very confident, confident about his, uh, about her son and the result we know that so please don't pressure put pressure on your children just relax just relieve him or her and he will blossom in her own way so now we will learn about thomas alvatison's life and career eventually he worked for the indian army as a telegrapher he was 22 years old when he filed his first patent for the electrographic vote recorder which helped people in the US Congress record their votes in a quicker way than the voice vote system they used at the time. In 1870, he moved to New York City and improved the stock ticker. A stock ticker is a machine used by stock traders. When it makes a tick, it meant a change in price of the items they were interested in. He soon formed his own company that created and made a new stock ticker. He also began working on the telegraph and invented a version that could spend four messages at once. In wartime or emergencies, telegraphs saved lives because it, it is um, popular in nowadays uh, in present time too and it really saves lives it really saves times when the titanic sunk in the atlantic ocean a telegraph alerted rescuers to the disaster when you think about how he was called slow at school he certainly was one clever man for this reason, I always try to say through my videos that every baby is special, they are so unique. So just focus on your babies, what they are like to do. Don't pressurize. Their normal capacity will then, uh, they will be suppressed. Just let them go and just see the result they will surprise you they will wonder you i promise just listen to me don't pressure don't put your pressure don't put your fantasies or your desires on them let them blossom they are really a gift from our creator so now we will uh, know about family life and inventions meanwhile Edison married Mary Stillwell, had three children and moved his family to Menlo Park, New Jersey, where he built his famous laboratory. He was called the Wizard of Menlo Park 
because of the many inventions and improvements that streamed out of the doors of his lab. The secret of his success was not only about his creativity but in his ability to create a workplace where he could spark the creative abilities of other people. That is very impressive and amazing. He worked extremely hard and registered 1093 that means 193 patents. A patent is a document granting an inventor sole rights to an invention. In 1877, Edison, with help from muckers who were individuals around the world looking to make fortunes in America, he invented the phonograph. The phonograph was a machine that recorded the spoken voice and played it back by using the sound vibration of the voice which made a needle create indentions on a drum wrapped with tin oil. Later, Edison would adopt cylinders and discs to permanently record music. He perfected the phonograph by recording Mary had a little lamp on a page of tin foil. How awesome is that? And uh, one more thing, I know many rhymes because of my daughter. I hear the rhymes all day long and when I go to sleep, uh, uh, different types of rhymes just uh, round and round in my head. Such as, um, the wheels on the bus go round and round. I my head just stacked. Always think about the wheels on the bus go round and round. Okay, leave it. Edison and electricity. In 1878, Edison invented the light bulb for which he is most famous for. This is, however, not entirely true as the light bulb had been around for a number of years. However, he perfected it and made the light bulb practical and inexpensive. Edison later invented the entire electric utility system to deliver light to homes through a network of wires. He started the Edison Electric Light Company in October of 1878 and the world was never the same again. In 1884, after he had reached the dizzying heights of fame and fortune, his wife died. He remarried 20 years old Mina Miller in 1886 and had another three children. He was lucky to in having children too, I think so. Edison continued to invent or improve products and make significant contributions to X-ray technology, storage batteries, and movies. In Edison's movie studio, technically known as a kinetographic theater, but nicknamed the Black Maria. One person at a time could view 50 feet, that means 15 meters of film in about 20 seconds through a hip hole. Each kinetoscope was about 4 feet, about 1 meter tall, 20 inches square, that means 50 centimeters square. A battery operated lamp allowed the film to be lit out. He also invented the world's first talking doll and re volatilized the cement clean industry. His inventions changed the whole world forever. They still influence the way we live today. He won countless awards and was very famous in that time, in present time, and he will be famous in future time too because we can't deny his inventions in our day-to-day -day life. Edison worked until his death on October 18, 1931. Now we will know some interesting facts about Edison. Number one, before his mom decided to teach him at home, Edison only attended school for three months. In 1862, Edison saved a three-year-old boy from being run over by a boxcar. 
and that is so cool thomas edison would sleep for four hours only in a day and would work for 72 hours straight especially when an experiment was about to be completed can you believe that oh i can't do it anymore no 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 it's not mm, simply possible for me please stay safe by this time because i will appear in the new video with a new drawing with a new story still then bye stay safe